administratively, the northern areas have two major parts, that is, Gilgit and Baltistan, with six districts, Dyamar, Astor, Gilgit, Gizar, Skardu, and Ganche, respectively. Gilgit is situated at an elevation of 1,454 meters along the banks of the Gilgit River. Its population is around 0.35 million. A quaint little town of Gilgit has spectacular scenic beauty. It is the capital of the northern areas. Skardu, the capital of Baltistan, borders with Kargil, Astor, Kashmir, and Gilgit. The innumerable valleys, blessed with scenic beauty, panoramic view, high altitude lakes, and attractive surroundings, make the area a dream come true. The charming and enchanting beauty of Satpara and Shangri-La lakes is worth seeing. The transparent blue water of these lakes give comfort to the heart and the eyes. I'm from America and I'm just here in the northern areas of Pakistan uh, seeing the sights and it's really pretty. Uh, the people here are very friendly and uh, just like to say to other people that you should definitely come check out northern Pakistan. The people of the northern areas are simple, industrious, brave and close to nature. They are known for their hospitality and excellent craftsmanship. The region has a rich history and was previously ruled by several small states like Hunza, Gilgit, Punyal, Gizar, Skardu and Khaplu. The part of the region has been governed under Kashmir as well. The population consists of many diverse linguistic, ethnic and religious groups and the most famous languages of the region are Shina, Baroshiski, Baki and Balti. The Karakuram, the Himalayas, and the Hindu Kush, along with the Pamirs, are the famous mountain ranges with several prominent peaks of world ranking. The region has the greatest cluster of peaks above 7,000 meters, while five peaks out of 14, 8,000 meters high in the world are also located in the northern areas. K2. 8,611 meters. The Nanga Parbat, 8,125 meters. Gasherbrum, 8,068 meters. Broad Peak, 8,047 meters. Gasherbrum 2, 8,035 meters. The place is unique in its kind 
as one can see the mountains of three mightiest ranges from this point, the Himalayas, the Karakuram and the Hindu Kush. The viewpoint is near the confluence of rivers Indus and Gilgit, another spectacular view from the same place. Being on the Silk Road, having a Tibetan influence, and after the migration of Buddhists from Gandhara to present northern areas, the region was dominated by Buddhism. This influence resulted in various rock-inscribed writings and pictures dating back between 5000 BC to 8th century AD. Some 20,000 points are already found while there is still a vast scope to explore and discover more places. Some important places which are in easy approach to a traveller are Chilas rock inscriptions, Manthal rock carved figure of Buddha near Skardu, Karga Buddha, the Nyor rock and the sacred rocks of Ganesh. The Indus is the major river flowing through the region, while its important tributaries are Gilgit, Gizad, Hunza, Braldu, Shigar, Shiok, and the Astor rivers. It enters in Pakistan above Skardu and swings southwards to the Arabian Sea, flowing down a course of 2,480 kilometers. Fairy Meadows is one of the most picturesque places in the world. It's a small ablation valley of Raikot Glacier with majestic views of Grand Nanga Parbat. The place is known since the earlier climbing attempts to Nanga Parbat. ऐसा प्रॉब्लम नहीं है लॉ एंड ऑर्डर के हवाले से और इसी की वजह से the law and order situation in this area is quite satisfactory that is why the development activities are its peak कि टूरिज्म we have lot of potential in tourism gemstones precious minerals and infrastructure Infrastructure, just me, KKHP widening. The widening of Karakoram Highway and completion of other mega projects will bring a revolutionary change in the life of the people of this area. Hunza is the most famous and interesting region in northern areas and is well connected by an all weather Karakoram Highway with the rest of the country. The Hunza Valley is known for its delicious fruits and colorful weathers.
Jagloutgar Valley. Jagloutgar is a small but interesting place. An old man of this village is known for his craft as he makes wooden crockery, pottery, without any modern day machines. very simple and interesting way. He uses a fan operated by a small waterfall which spins his tools to cut wood and shapes wooden spoons and pots with great expertise. This wood art is one of the oldest and famous crafts of the region, which is still in practice at places. First of all, we cut the wood in small logs. Then we put it in the water to make it mild and smooth. When it gets soft, we use it for woodwork. Northern areas are famous for its hand-woven woolen cloth. Jackets, waistcoats and caps are very popular among travellers. Other items are traditional Hunza hats for women. Silver ornaments and jewellery. Precious stones such as ruby, garnet, topaz, emerald, different types of crystals are also found in abundance in the markets. The area is also known for the variety of fruits. The most popular fruit of the area is the apricot and sustenance of thousands of people is linked with it. Not only are the local markets flooded with this fruit, but is supplied to other areas of Pakistan and to foreign countries. The northern areas have four weather seasons, summer, autumn, winter, and spring. All the seasons have a dramatic and distinctive effect on the life of the local people. However, spring is one of the most interesting. After a chilly, cold, harsh and difficult winter season, when temperature goes below freezing point, the arrival of spring is a message of life. This is the time to start harvesting the fields and to grow crops. By the start of spring, suddenly the whole scenario changes and a lively activity starts throughout the region. The local people welcome the spring and celebrate it by singing and dancing and enjoying festivals. This is Gaguch, the district headquarter of Gizal, where local organizations and tourism department have organized a Mina Bazaar for women and children in a school. Besides this, Competition of cooking and wool spinning between women is underway. Now, 
competition of baking bread or chapatis has begun. Preparation of shapek dish is very simple. First of all, we take the flour and knead it. We mix lemon in it. After a while, we prepare shapek. This dish is very popular and it is part of our culture. The dishes are presented before the judges. They will taste and later on award prizes to the winners. The favorite sport in northern areas is polo. It is more rugged, freestyle version than that of the sedate varieties known in the plains. The northern areas is a paradise for visitors. The beauty of nature in its charming valleys bring comfort to the aching heart. But the real challenge is to preserve and protect this magical beauty for generations to come.